Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. Disclaimer I do not condone any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions. Today, we are only going to be discussing the Bia and the Cardi beef. Okay, we're going to be talking about it. Cardi went live. We're going to play some clips. We're going to talk about it. And Bia just dropped a diss track. Yep, she dropped a diss track. And I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about it. And just my overall opinion on the whole Bia and Cardi situation. Now, is this hip hop or is this personal? Y'all going to let me know down in the comments below soon. Now, Bia and Cardi situation. Now, we know Bia been itching and itching for Cardi's response and her attention, and she got it, okay? So, at this point, we already know Cardi B is going to be a target for a lot of people, just like Nicki Minaj, because they are the top female rappers, okay? So, now that, you know, Cardi gave Bia some attention, we're going to see if this is going to be a hip-hop, like a diss back and forth battle, or is it going to take it to the streets? Is it going to get real personal? Is it going to get really messy? Now, Cardi B is claiming that Bia is lying about Cardi B stepping out on Offset and a whole bunch of things. So let's get into it. So Bia, she went on live and she just waited for everybody to come in um, so she can press play. She said she's not doing a lot of talking, so she wanted to you know, address whatever she needed to address in the music. And I'm going to let y'all know this right now. I'm going to just say this right off the back. I'm not really a Bia fan. I don't download her music. I don't listen to it because she's not really somebody that I would listen to. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to give her her props for getting in the booth, okay, ASAP. She, like, literally went ASAP, went in the booth, had said what she had to say, okay, and I respect her for that. I respect her for her pen, for trying and just putting it out there. And I just feel like that's just what it's supposed to be. It shouldn't be anything personal. Now, Bia, like I said, a lot of people don't like her music. She's not actually where she needs to be in the industry. Maybe this is why she's doing that. Whole conversation. Because you saying that I'm copying you. And also, also, this is my thing though, right? Yeah. No, this the conversation thing. started real nasty, right? Because... I'm so appalled at the fact that she thinks that I'm copying her or that I'm stealing from her. Because there's nothing that she do that I that I like. I don't like her music. I don't like her style. I don't like how she look. I don't like nothing about her. I don't even see her. So it's like more or less. Now my thing is this. I think Bia is definitely reaching. I am think Cardi B needs to look or follow anything behind Bia. Okay? Cardi B is her own person. She has her own, her own everything. Okay? And she is creative in a lot of things that she do. So I don't think that she needs to look for anybody that people are not really looking at like that for any type of inspiration. And that's just me and my opinion. Okay? One thing about Cardi, she's going to do whatever she needs to do. And she's going to do it correctly in her way and on her time. You feel what I'm saying? But let's not get it twisted. There's a lot of things that Bia had said or put on and stuff that people are insinuating that she's following behind Cardi. Okay? We've seen tweets about Bia giving Cardi her props, being a top female rapper, and, you know, doing it for the girlies and everything else. So, mm, it's, it's looking kind of flip-floppity because Bia is over there on Nicki Minaj, you know, cat lips. One of the top female rappers. The top female rappers. When I don't drop music... Or when I'm dropping music, I'm the I'm one of the most streamed and most talked about. Even when I'm laying down at home, so that's one. However, when it comes to my career, I feel like I'm not. I have I have I have actually I have a dream. I have a dream that I want to accomplish, and I will never tell nobody. And I'm gonna tell y'all when I accomplish that dream. So Cardi B just really want to let y'all know that she's just that girl. Do you want to see what I'm saying? And she is. She get a lot of hate. She get a lot of uh, backlash for the things that she do or say and everything else. But then on top of that, she got to also be mindful that she is Cardi B and some things are just going to just not be in her favor. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, do y'all understand? Because it's just like Cardi put herself in a lot of situations also. Now, be yourself. I love that for Cardi because that's the reason why. I'm so, like, drawn to her or whatever the case may be because of her personality and how real she is. But sometimes she knows that certain things shouldn't be put out on the internet. That's just how I feel. Because she knows she's going to get backlash. From, and it's like, yeah, it's coming from Shorty. It's coming from her. And it's like, huh? So I'm like, what do you mean? And it's like, yeah, she showed the video to this producer that he's very close to Offset. Like, they're like this. 
and that she sold and she sold it to another rapper. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. So I called the producer, but he talked to Offset, and he told Offset, I ain't seen the video, but Shorty's saying that she got some shit on your. And if your your girl like reply back, like like to whatever she put out she's gonna post the video some shit like that i'm like all right whatever so i called the rapper too and the rapper is like i ain't never heard nothing so i'm like you know what i'm gonna just keep it professional and i'm gonna get to the thick of it because i wonder if like i was wondering if it's like if it's like a rumor that somebody's making up because you know everybody knows that me and her are like not in the greatest in the greatest thing so i don't know if there's like a rumor that people's making up trying to be messy between me and her so i got to the thick of it and i got my manager Call her manager. My question is, who is the person that's feeding Cardi this information about Bia? And who was the person that told that person? Like, we need to get to the bottom of the sources. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it could be a lot of fake people on each side of these ladies. Like, you could have people over there on Bia's side trying to feed information to Cardi. You got Cardi's side trying to feed... We never know. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, like she said, it's a rumor. Okay? Until Bia provides some type of proof. Because according to Cardi, she pressed or addressed these people that allegedly be a showed a video to or any type of receipt and they are claiming like it's cap they don't know nothing about it so at this point it's like who is gonna drop any receipts be are you gonna is you gonna drop receipts cardi are you gonna drop receipts because cardi keeps saying that i got a whole 30 something minute phone call with bia and i don't know if i'm gonna put it out or not basically blah 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 or it's like you keep playing with me i'm gonna put it out girl there shouldn't be no reason for anybody on any side of threatening about dropping receipts just drop it like what is the point of even mentioning something if you're not even gonna fall, fall through with it all right but just keep the receipts maybe and maybe the dis the dissing going back and forth and then all of a sudden the, the receipts will drop because at this point a receipt needs to drop because these are some serious allegations and we're gonna get into it yeah bring that ass in here <laughs> Like power, because I didn't need 10 people to get up in here and do this for me. I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm just going to hit play when I feel like everybody's in here, okay? Now, Bia goes on live. She says she's not going to do a lot of talking. She's just going to press play. Now, me, mind you, when she said this, I'm thinking that she's going to play a receipt or she's going to show something, play something, you know? Um, but it was actually her diss track. And like I said, she said some things, a lot of things, and we're going to get into some of the comments because they peeped a lot of the stuff and I'm going to have to listen to it again, but it, it looked like she, she, you know, she did what she had to do in this diss track. Okay. I know a lot of people don't like her and I'm not a fan of her music or whatever, but like I said, I give her props for even going in a booth or even trying to come at Cardi period. Do you understand what I'm saying? But we're going to get into some things. We're going to get into some comments. I want to hear what y'all got to say in the comments also. And like I said, these are my opinions, okay? It's that That's just that simple, okay? I just feel like it's a petty situation. I feel like it's a hip-hop thing when it comes to the battle rapping, the dissing and stuff like that. It's supposed to be for hip-hop. But once it starts getting personal and things start, you know, doing too much, then it's outside of the hip-hop world. You get me? So... Cardi Live has me crying because everyone just keep asking who Bia is. So people who didn't know who she was, okay? Um, now, girl, you playing a dangerous game. How you gonna go up against someone when you only got three known songs from years ago? I love you, girl, but sit this one out. Um, Bia, this is trash, darling. This diss track is giving low vibrations. It's not it. Trash. Nobody playing that bull crap, girl, move around. The comments line. this was not it. Where was this energy for Krishan? What? Krishan is not even an artist. Let's cut that out. Didn't we just see what happens when these artists who run around with 10 writers, fake body, fake life, go against a true student of the game, a real MC? The same way fans slept on Doc, be about to wax shorty up crazy if she even responds. And mind you, I'm from Harlem, New York, talking about someone from NY and Boston, but I'm also a real fan of hip hop real bars and shorty from boston really does this bars 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 and okay um let's go bia show her what a pen does okay so some people are agreeing with this this 
Um, no shade, Bia, you gagged me. I knew you could rap, but that was perfectly put together and still had that Bia flow. You ate surgery, B up. Damn, love, when y'all do this, definitely giving great value. You done wasted studio time again. So these people was like, girl, just pack it up and throw it away. If Cardi B don't sample this on her diss track to Bia, it's an L. It's right by the rim. Bia, Bia, what you want, what you want. Now, Kim Barbie says Bia admitted that she doesn't have an actual issue with Cardi. So for it to spiral into continuous subs online, mentioning her kids, etc., it really puts in a perspective how far girls will go when they're desperate to try and pull themselves out of irrelevancy. Okay, girl. Okay. Wait, so you're telling me that when Offset went on a story rant about Cardi allegedly cheating on him, those were rumors created by Bia? At this point, freak a rat beef, she would have to see me in person because now it's personal. Um, Bia mentioned her botched body surgery, Offset cheating, then her cheating back with his gang, her kids, her face surgery, her dirty tattoos, her ghostwriter, her changing her face, her illiteracy, her breaking her vows, and writing spells before raps. Oh my god, she ate Cardi alive. You can tell Bia is extremely jealous and envious of Cardi B. Bia started her rap career before Cardi B, and Cardi ended up becoming what Bia has always wanted to be, the international global A-list top female rapper in the game. Something Bia has never, ever been. Of course, she's jelly, okay? And that is actually kind of true, okay? A lot of these females will look down on a lot of the top female rappers because they feel like they want that spot, and they should be the one in that spot. So, let me get this straight. Cardi mentions Bia. Bia responds. And now Cardi want to sue? Oh, brother. Okay? I guess she's suing because, you know, she's saying Bia's lying on her habadusi. Sorry, but if my man cheating on me so many times, I would have thanked Bia for starting rumors that I was out cheating too. Cardi is ungrateful. So, some people was like, girl, that wasn't even really that serious. He been cheating on you. You been crying, crashing out on the internet. It's only right that there was a rumor about you cheating. <laughs> if I was Cardi, I'll drop a response called wouldn't wanna be a because, you know, people are saying that she should respond. Do you think she should? Now, Bia is on YouTube. This is what it is. She got Offset's um, story. My wife freaked the guy on me, gang. Y'all guys know how I come. So she used that okay, as her, you know, cover art, okay, if it doesn't matter if y'all think Cardi washed Bia, Bia responding is good press for her regardless, both of their butts can't rap, by the way, similar, stopped acting like either of them are doing something for real, so this person says, listen, Cardi and Bia is trash rappers, they not even lyrically, like, talented, that's basically what she's saying, Okay, so let's do these final thoughts. Okay, boom. Bia been subbing Cardi, okay? She been wanting attention. Cardi ignored her, okay? She drops a verse on Wannabe, subbing Bia. Now, mind you, Bia already had um, parts of a song coming at Cardi before, okay? Now, Bia snippet comes out claiming Cardi is smashing someone that is not offset, okay? And I guess that's what triggered Cardi. Now, Cardi goes live claim receipts um but seen none i ain't seen no receipts on cardian if she played the audio and it really actually means something then okay we could talk about some things okay um cardi goes live like she said she said everything that she needed to say if you want to hear what she had to say just go on my instagram on the toxic tea lounge um be a diss track okay it's called sue me okay so she thinking it's a joke she even said it again in the diss like girl you're smashing you, she even said that cardi got freaked into the game because you know cardi is blood so she said a lot of things that i feel like is good in a diss track if we really talking diss track and trying to hit below belts and really trying to come for somebody she did that because you got everybody on the internet really complaining about the things that she said okay Bia um wanted the attention like I said Cardi gave it to her now will Cardi respond should she diss her back well, let me know down in the comments below also I give respect to Bia like I said for getting in the booth and not really trying to take it to the streets oh let's meet up let's link up let's do this let's do that whatever the case may be I just like for what just put it in your music and just call it a day because it's really never that serious um and some of the stuff like some of the stuff is like, uh, like, okay, you talking about her face and her surgeries and stuff like that. 
people been talking about Cardi's face and her surgeries. Like, that's not really nothing new. But it is the concept behind it. It's like the thought that she put into it. And then on top of that, let me just say this, because Bia just looked it real dumb. At the end of the diss, she's basically admitting to her and her friends having a group chat talking about Cardi tattoos making her look dirty. Like, who does that? You just sound like you've been pressed. It just, <laughs> it's like she's telling on her herself. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, we been talked about it. Like, girl, so you've been watching me. You watch my tattoos. You're watching everything that I do. And now you're feeling some type of way. You want some attention from me. Now she got it. So I feel like Cardi about to eat her up. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Cardi about to eat her up. And Bia is going to start looking real stupid in a minute. Okay, I feel like she's she's doing it to herself. But at the end of the day, this is what actual people do. Like, if you're going, like, if you're in the industry, if you have beef and it's been subs and stuff like that, Sooner or later, the direct is going to come out, okay? Names are going to get dropped, and everything is going to just start being more direct. So we shall see how this is going to end. Um, Yeah, so let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. Like I said, I only respect Bia for getting in a booth and doing her diss track ASAP and, you know, addressing whatever she felt like she needed to address. And on top of that, after Cardi said, Sue, whatever, 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 there, she drops the diss track that basically says the same thing about her pedisi. Like, she's cheating on Offset and basically calling her a hypocrite and stuff like that. So, at the end of the day, we are going to see how this is going to end, okay? But I'll keep y'all updated. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share on this video. Until then, to the lose, bye bye. Ooh, shawty, you tried it. Voice getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me those lies? Why?